Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are fine at your home. Today we'll see standard fifth subject looking around environmental studies. In that chapter number 16 cleaning is our job. In the previous video we have seen main 5. Today we'll see main 6. We have completed main 5. Today we'll see main 6. Answer the following questions. Question number one, what kind of difficulties do sweepers face while doing their work? Answer is, while cleaning the road, dust enters their lungs through their nose. So, there is a possibility of suffering from disease of the respiratory system. They sometimes suffer from skin infection due to dust and dirt sticking to it. Sometimes, their health gets adversely affected while cleaning dust and dirt. They even get suffocated while cleaning sewers, which makes them unconscious and there is fear of losing their lives too. See the question number 2. If nobody cleared the garbage lying outside your school or your house for a week, then what would happen? Answer is, if garbage lying outside the school or home is not cleared for one week, it will start stinking. There is wet as well as dry trash in the garbage. It will start rotting and people will start falling ill. Ill. And people will start falling ill. There may be, there may even be an epidemic. If it would be very difficult to go to school or live in the house. See the question number 3. What type of work or job do people like? Why? Answer is, people like to work or have a job in government office. Reason is, there is a job security in such work. There is a no manual labor involved and one can work comfortably on a chair and a table. People also treat us respectfully when we work in such an office. Now see the next page. See the question number 4. Why did Gandhiji and his team start doing cleaning? Answer is, Gandhiji believed in doing one's own work oneself. If we ourselves clean our dirt, no one else will have to do this dirty work. Gandhiji started this work in Sabarmati Ashram itself. When Gandhiji and his team went to stay in a village near Vardha city in Maharashtra, there were no facilities in the village. They started cleaning toilets. They thought that if we start doing this, villagers will also do it. This will bring a change in people's thinking and thought that his dirty work has to be done only by people of a certain caste will be removed from, this, from their minds. See the question number 5. How will you treat people who can, who clean? How will you treat people who clean toilets and drains? Right. Answer is, I will treat people who clean toilets and drains properly. They are the ones who get rid of the dirt from our toilets and drains. If they did not do this work, we would have to clean the toilet and drains, a job which we hate. So, all of us should be grateful to them. See the question number 6. Why is it necessary to keep the house clean? Answer is, if we, keep, if we keep the house clean, insects like flies and mosquitoes as well as disease spreading germs will not be seen in it. As a result, we will not fall sick and will remain healthy. The mind feels happy in a clean environment. So, we will be healthy mentally also. See the question number 7. Why is disinfectant sprinkled in potholes filled with dirty water? Answer is, foul smell spreads around potholes filled with dirty water and mosquitoes breed in it. This is like malaria and dengue spread due to mosquitoes. When disinfectant is sprinkled in potholes filled with dirty water, mosquitoes are destroyed and disease do not spread. Question number 8. What happens if you do not keep your clothes, books and toys or playing equipments at proper place at home? 
discuss it answer is if i do not keep my clothes books and toys or playing equipments at the proper place at home the house will look untidy if clothes books and toys are not in their proper place they will not be found easily when they are needed see main 7 answer is asked see the question number 1 what if the sweepers were not doing the cleaning work think answer is if the sweepers did not do the cleaning work trash would be seen all over our yards at home all over our yards at home and on the streets there would be dirt everywhere which would lead to disease public places like roads and parks bus stations railway stations etc would not have been cleaned thus there would be heaps of trash and dirt wherever one looked due to this the health of every individual would be at risk See the question number two. What is our responsibility to keep each place clean? Answer is our responsibility are number one by sweeping the area around us and keeping it clean. Number two by throwing the trash and leftovers only in the trash can. Number three by not littering any public place. Number four by not spilling trash at the corner of the street. the society or the village but throwing it only in the trash cans kept at such place point 5 by flushing toilets after use and not leaving them dirty whether home or public toilets see the main three question number 3 name the people who do the following jobs number 1 ironing clothes washerman number 2 cleaning roads cleaners number 3 regulating traffic traffic policeman number 4 selling vegetables green grocer number 5 driving a bus driver number 6 building a house mason number 7 examining a patient and giving medicine doctor number 8 teaching in a school teacher now see the next page hot question choose the correct alternative from those given below each question and write its index later in the box provided against each question Question number one: Where should dirty water and leftover food be thrown? A. In a public ground. B. In the yard. C. In a drain. And D. In a well. Answer is option C. In a drain. In a drain, dirty water and leftover food be thrown. Number two: Which of the following fact is not considered good for maintaining clean maintaining a clean environment? Which of the following facts? is not considered good for maintaining a clean environment a throwing dirt in a public place b throwing trash anywhere c open defection defecation open defecation and d all of the given answer is all of the given throwing dirt in the public place is also throwing trash anywhere and open defecations is not considered good for maintaining a clean environment See the number three. Which of the following statement is true for cleanliness in Gandhiji's Sabarmati Ashram? Options are A. Cleaners used to do all the cleaning jobs. B. People had been given the job of cleaning toilet. C. Every person staying in the ashram did all kinds of work. D. It was allowed to leave the work that one did not like to do. Answer is option C. Every person staying in the ashram did all kinds of work. See the number four. What was Gandhiji's name? A. Mohandas. B. Narayan Bhai. C. Manichandra. And D. Mahadev Bhai. Answer is option A. Mohandas. Gandhiji's name is Mohandas. Here your chapter is completed, and we will see the next chapter in the next video. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Okay. Bye.